I want my allies to have everything they need. Now begins the slow process of rebuilding the Indian subcontinent. Now hopefully with all the compiled, compi combined industrial capacity. There we go. Let's, uh... Oh, okay. Oh no. I thought they were on serial runs. Or sorry, just one serial run, more rather. I'm gonna need to keep, uh... Production low for a little bit at least. Because soon I'll need to start upgrading what we do have into uh, sort of 1943 and above divisions. I'm sorry, 1945. And also, oh, I forgot. Vietnam is a good friend and ally of uh, the former Sindhi uh, syndicist elements within India. So let's rebase them to the other side of India. Let's see if we can't send some men to land in Vietnam. It'd be nice if those marine divisions were ready, but they won't be ready for quite some time. Alright, uh, yeah, I guess I can't send more men to them yet. to drag them all the way across to uh, India. Wow, looks like uh, the majority of Britain has finally collapsed and just accepted the fact that, hey, Canada owns you. There's almost no partisan activity anywhere, and I don't think there's any... There's none in Central America either. Or, sorry, South America. Well, there's a little bit in the north. But only 1%, so virtually negligible. And these, etern these Spanish provinces, which eternally belong to me. I wish the French would send troops to uh, the south of France. Negotiations. Let's send. Let's give them some more provinces. Guys, 
are on a mission to Vietnam. Shit. Okay, well they can... My fleet can go here. How far can the transport ships go? Transport ships can go anywhere. So, let us hope to Christ that the Vietnamese don't have a very powerful navy, which I'm going to assume that they don't. So I'm not too worried about uh, how that might turn out. I'm gonna, oh man, Ho Chi Minh's in power uh, way sooner than he should be. Because remember, I want to get to China, so when we attack the combined Russian and German forces, um, someone will attack them from both ways. Oh, looks like we sank. Holy shit! <laughs> Vietnamese fleet. But on the bad side, they've got 17 divisions stationed in Saigon, so there's no way I can attempt an uh, amphibious assault there. Let's go to Hanoi. And maybe we'll get lucky. Unfortunately, these transport divisions are... Oh, crap. Crap on a stick. I think there's any hope in hell. Oh, you're joking me, right? Beyond the range? Oh, tits. And, of course... <sighs> Fortress Vietnam. There's no way going to be able to make any kind of uh, successful amphibious landings. Alright, so the question is, where are we going to place a uh, base that will be close enough that will allow us to sufficiently strike uh, and land troops in China? And to me, the only place we can conceivably do that is if we take the Philippines. So let's send these guys back home. And, well, we'll leave Vietnam alone. Vietnam is lucky and gets to maintain its sovereignty. Fucking come back here. Mainly because they've made, <laughs> created a nice fortress, which makes it incredibly difficult for us to invade them. So they were intelligent. We still have a zero percent chance to bring them into our alliance, but we're slowly working towards two hundred percent. I should also increase intelligence funding. See how many men how many spies we've got in the Pacific States. Well, certainly not enough to attempt a coup. Because that would be the other way we could potentially bring them into our sphere without invading them is to coup them. Done, but they're not going to get done until April. So, we got to hope for the best then. I'll send a uh, Awesome. Send a scouting party.
to scout around the Philippines, but I do think it would be best if we attacked from Australia up towards the Philippines. I think it's probably a uh, closer base. I don't think mobile divisions would be much use for an amphibious assault. So let's load as many guys as we can stuff into a boat. More boats. And rebase them in Darwin, Australia. missing one. Man, our ally sends a lot of troops to uh, help the Indians, you know, maintain their borders. But uh, let's get rid of these guys. Are they, wait, are they with anybody? They have a trade embargo on Georgia. That's the most random thing ever. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. And then India will be united and free. Send friggin' 19 Canadian divisions to smash the crap out of this tiny nation. that has 1918 infantry divisions. Oh, I should go check. Can I influence you yet? Some more? No. Sad face. Hooray! Um, well, you should probably annex them at some point. There we go. Alright, and now with the last province exchanging hands, what's this? India, besides I guess Sri Lanka, is uh, united once more. Alright, well, now we're about to begin and plan our glorious invasion of the Philippines. So, uh, I'll be right back, just one sec. Alright, we're back, and I'm sending the transport fleet from Darwin to do our... Excuse me. Uh, our scouting of the Philippines to see where we can conceivably land on the island. Um, that is definitely a good spot because it'll give us a uh, nice port. Uh, that's beyond the range. Tits. Okay. All these islands are unfortunately defended, 
but they only have one guy. So here's what I'm gonna do. Rebase the fleet. Split them up into units of six. And then launch uh, simultaneous invasions of multiple different sig uh, multiple different areas of the island. Slowly building up their industrial capacity. Damn, still a zero percent chance to bring into the alliance. All right, well, let's keep uh, influencing them, influencing them to two hundred percent. I wonder if the, the Germans are just going to let us do whatever the hell we want to do, or if they might get uh, uppity and declare war. Alright, six. Whoops. Alright, that will be good enough for the first wave. Alright, declare war on the Philippines. Alright, we're all moving out together. And hopefully our allies will also send their navies. That would be really sweet. Okay, so... I want to launch... an amphibious assault here. One here. And launch one right here. Alright, good luck, guys. Amphibious insults are never easy and never fun. But it looks like we may, uh, it looks like we're gonna win at least one of these assaults. Unfortunately, I think I may have. Oh, well. Okay, I'll accept your white piece. They really helped out their allies in that one, that's for sure. I'm sure they're proud of their performance. All right. Well, so long as we win one, it's good enough for me. Indeed, foolish Quebecois. Crap. 
Oh, wow. Okay, I did not see that coming. Alright, let's get... New naval. New artillery as well. Yeah, not gonna happen. Actually, you know, I want you to rebase here. Okay, hold the fuck on. What do you mean it's beyond the range of these units? Alright, if we can land on the big island, then all the power to us. Oh wow, a lot of these guys are running out of supply. these guys in supply? Yes, thank god they are. But it doesn't matter, because as long as we've got our toehold, that is all we need. Are these guys going to actually be able to win this fight? They might, provided these guys can make the landing. Which it looks like they are about to. Alright. I don't think any one of us has supplies. Any of these armies. They're all woefully undersupplied. But, our mission has been a success. It looks like we took all of our object objectives and it's time to send the boys home. Or, well, the, the ship's home. The infantry still has some fighting to do. Even though they are out of supply. Or some of them are, at least. Well, it looks like they'll win that battle, even though... ...they don't really have the supplies to do so. Oh, shit. Well, if 
we're only if we're able to take just a handful more islands. trying to sneak uh, one of our landings away. Once you take this province, our swift invasion of the Philippines will come to an end. How are we doing for technology? Oh, everyone's good. But I should probably rearrange my production sliders a little bit. Upgrade them. All right, well, it's over. So now we've got a staging, a strategic area. From which we can plot new and elaborate invasions from, including the invasion of China, which will uh, definitely be elaborate. are still going to take a freaking eternity to build. Alright, so now at least we've got a little bit of downtime. I don't think we're at war with anybody. The Entente continues to grow. We've got quite the collection of nations under our command. I don't know if I should liberate the Philippines or leave them as just occupied territory. 